hey guys so i thought i was well i am recording but my audio was off and it took me a while to recognize that the audio was off so i'm gonna be doing this section that the audio was off um in a voiceover so um this is a get ready with me i'm actually um getting ready to go to work in a while so i decided to sit down and film a tutorial because i missed my upload because my um my my disc was corrupted so that's that so i'm just priming my face with some milk hydro grip primer is a new primer i'm testing out and so far so good and this is where the audio came back so let's hop into it the ellie girl uh pro mixing it's yellow to help neutralize some of the red in the foundation i'm going to use next which is the catrice prime um which is the catrice um liquid coverage foundation i'm just going to mix this too um this foundation is a really nice foundation i did uh, um a little mini review on it long time it's it reminds me of the fenty beauty foundation so i'm just gonna pounce that all over my face with a damp beauty blender beauty sponge i purchased this off amazon i got like five in a pack for nine dollars and they're doing the job pretty well it feels so good to see all the discoloration and hyperpigmentation and everything just disappear from me oh. best feeling ever i'm gonna use my trusty morphe 35b palette and quickly fill in my brows i have been filling in my brows differently because i have shaped them i did um i shaped them sort of differently i have been brushing the hairs upwards and just filling in the sparse areas nothing too crazy and this is like a everyday makeup look um because i am as i said i'm going to work so it's i'm trying to keep my brows looking as natural as possible and they're a little bit just too thick for me i like my boy brows they're still boyish but i don't know what was going on there was just they were too too thick so i faded them a bit and that's what we have that's what we're working with so there we have it <clears throat> now i'm gonna conceal add a little highlight underneath my eyes i'm just gonna use my uh i'm just using my bond this way from concealer and i don't really conceal my brows on a regular basis i've mentioned that before it's one extra step that i just do not have to bother about i know this may seem like a lot for people some of us who um i say i'm going to work is an everyday thing for me but um this is what i do every day i've been doing this for years and that's the steps to my makeup routine i do have simpler versions and stuff on my channel you can check them out i'm gonna use my benai banana powder it's that time of the year but the weather has changed and I need my makeup to stay in place. It's getting hotter outside now, so I need everything to be locked down, baby. Locked down. That I'm going to go back in with the same powder. I'm going to use a puff and just set big the areas where I get oily. And I don't do this in the cooler months, but like I said, I don't do this. I only do this in the um I only do this in the hotter months, big the areas, because I'm gonna produce a lot of oils in this area. So this is just gonna keep it's assurance for my makeup, it's just gonna keep it in place even though I sweat in those areas. I mentioned to my face I'm using my contour palette from Black Radiance and I'm starting off with a fan brush and I'm just dipping in both shades. Top of the excess i like using this fan brush because it gives me a nice uh soft subtle contour it's adding dimension but it's not harsh so it allows me to build up the contour now i'm going to move to the eyes 
and there are like four palettes that I use on an everyday basis. They're right in front of me all the time. I love Shayla Perception palette. I love the Jaclyn Hill. Let me let me show you. I love the Shayla Perception palette. I love the colors. They are so everyday friendly. Those are my tones. The Jaclyn Hill Armed and Gorgeous palette. Um, did I say did I say four? I meant three. Of, and the Carly Bibel palette. I love this palette. This is my go-to palette when I just don't know what I want to do on my eyes. This is a palette I reach for all of the time. And of course, I love my Jaclyn Hill original palette. It's over there. But these are the ones that I'm using every single day. Or not every day, but whenever I choose to use makeup. So I'm just going to get some of that on this big fluffy eyeshadow brush. Tap the excess off and put that all over my lid. And then I'm just going to use that same brush to blend it, blend the edges so that it's not harsh. I am trying so hard to not get makeup on my white vintage shirt. So now that I have this going on on my eyes, you guys, I know I seem all over the place. Bear with me. This is a get ready with me video. I am getting ready to leave the house. Um, so now that I have that, I like going in with some sort of glitter just to add a little something to the look and I'll, i'm gonna use the wet and wild liquid cat suit and i'm gonna use the one in fairy tale ending i usually just put some on the back of my hand like like so then i take a brush whatever brush you feel like i tap it in it and i'm just gonna lightly tap it over my eyes mostly the center of my eyes it just add a little pop to the look simple but it makes an impact then i'm gonna go back into the carly bible palette and i'm gonna take this color here it's one of my favorite colors so i'm just putting a little bit of this over top what i just placed down then i'm gonna take a smudger brush like this and i'm grabbing the darkest color to just add a little definition underneath my bottom lashes And of course, I'm going to just buff it off a little bit because I don't want it to look too harsh. It's the same pencil brush. I wiped it off. I have a towel on me here. I always sometimes can't be bothered to be using six and seven brushes. And I'm going to grab this shade right here and add that to the inner corners of my eyes for a little pop. Right, so now that I have that going on, I'm going to press this powder into my skin. I'm not trying to dust it off. So before I go in with mascara or anything, I'm going to set my face and I'm using the NYX Mattifying Primer. I need the matte to the center of my face. When you're using setting sprays, don't make too much facial expressions. Sort of leave your eyes looking down so that if you're wearing shadows it don't crease because it will crease and set just like that so i try not to make too much facial expressions when i'm doing this can't forget the brows i have to set the brows i'm using my got to be gel i promise i'll be using this forever i'm just gonna apply a couple coats of my big shot mascara Right, so now that i have my mascara on i'm going back into my carly bible palette and i'm just reaching for these two highlight shades and i'm gonna apply those to the top of my cheeks my lips i'm just gonna be using a red lip today That's cherry lip liner from MAC that I just used. And I'm going to use Colourpop Lip Stick in Trust Me, I think. I have this in my top five favorite red lip. You can check that out. It's still one of my favorites. And there we have it. 
So I'm just gonna press my face. I'm just gonna set my face one more time, but I'm gonna use a different setting spray. Cause now what I'm gonna do is just lightly press that setting spray in. Helps to dissolve all the powders on my face even more. And lock the makeup in place. If you have any hairs on your face, peach fuzz, you just press everything down so you have more of a smoother appearance. I'm gonna take my Catrice um, mattifying, um, what's it? Catrice Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder Waterproof. I love this powder. And I'm just gonna apply it in the areas where I do get oily my chin and the center of my face. It's a very translucent. It, it really, as you can see, it's not showing anything on my face it just goes over and keeps this area looking matte and there we have it i am ready for work simple work look hope you guys enjoyed this video hi if you're new here my name is rachel um I apologize for the inconsistency. It is not my fault. I am trying my best. So everything I use will be in the description box. All my social media links. I am a nail technician and a makeup artist out here in Brooklyn. Book me. Find out how to book me in the bottom bar. And I'll see you in my next tutorial on Sunday. Bye, guys.